Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Let me start out by saying I'm pretty proud of myself because my goal was to do 12 Vlogmas videos and I'm going to be doing 14. So I added yesterday's vlog. I did not plan on doing any decluttering in 2023, but got this wild hair to do one. So definitely check out that video in a card above. I'm also gonna put my 2023 Vlogmas playlist. So you guys seem to really like yesterday's decluttering video, so I can't wait to do more of that in 2024. So in today's Vlogmas video, I am finally getting to the video that I've been talking about, and that is my book video. I'm not even sure when I'm filming this how I'm gonna label it, because I've got several things I wanted to share. I was originally gonna do this as a sit down video and then I thought, no I'm not, I'm gonna just do it as a vlog because you guys, there's a lot going on right now. I'm sure there's a lot going on at your house too. It is right before Christmas. I've already been making Christmas baking stuff today. I've got laundry going, I'm trying to get bedding ready. I'm trying to get my house ready for company actually this afternoon. So we'll have company all the way up until the 26th. So I'm trying to get several things done right now. So I'm gonna share three or four different things. I guess we could say four. I'm gonna share my tree with you guys, my book themed Christmas tree that's in my office. All of the books behind me, what I read in 2023, what I would recommend, what I didn't like, and then in the floor down here that you cannot see, I have the, I think I'm missing one book. Yes, I need to go get one book. I've got what I plan on reading in the beginning of 2024, and then I have my book ornament for 2023, which is not completely finished, but I'll explain all of that. So a lot in this video, but I felt like I wanted to do all of the book related stuff in one video. So we're gonna start with my book Christmas tree. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this Christmas tree that I have created in this office. I cannot wait to put this up next year. I've already got some stuff. When I told y'all in yesterday's decluttering video that I was cleaning out the office closet, I cleaned out the office closet and I got a little section for all of my Christmas ornaments to go in. So all of this stuff is gonna go on that tree since it goes in my office. I cannot tell you how much I love this. So I'm gonna share everything with you, all the ornaments, where I got them, the only thing is I cannot find one Dr. Seuss ornament. So, and I thought I got it last year and I got it two years ago. I need to check my closet in the bedroom, that gift closet, because I know it was in there, but I've cleaned that closet out several times and I have not seen it. I have been in the attic two or three different times other than when you saw yesterday and I cannot find it. It is the, oh, the places you will go ornament. That was the ornament I got my kids two years ago. So every Christmas I get my kids one ornament that, well, they get more than one, but they get a family ornament. And that year it was, oh, the places you will go, the Dr. Seuss book. And I thought I had, I have one. I don't know where I put it. So I'm hoping when I start decluttering the attic, I can find it because it is really bothering me that I cannot find the ornament. Okay, so don't mind this area. If you hear something, it's probably this down here. It's an air purifier. I keep them beside the litter boxes just to kind of help with the odor. So here's my Christmas tree. Let me back up and share it with you from like afar. Okay, this is what it looks like if you're looking from the kitchen. So don't mind all the junk everywhere, you guys. Once Christmas is over, all this is going to get put back together but I love it. I've kept it on all Christmas season. I just, I just really like it. So it's got all my advent calendar stuff down here. Let me move all this. This is Izzy's. Oops, forgot a pair of socks. This is Emily Cromwell Designs. Cozy up with a good book. So that is one of the pillows. It might still be, a, might still be available in her shop. I'm really not sure. So this tree was in Kate's room and then it was just in the attic and she wasn't using it. So I decided to use it in here. So I might just break it down and put it in the office closet. I'm not sure. I don't know how much room I have. But 
it came from Amazon. If Amazon still has it, I will link it. I'm not really sure. We bought this probably three years ago. So I'm not sure if it's still available. We got Derek one and Kate one and neither one of them put it up this year. They just really don't have a lot of room to do that. The ribbon and the mesh came from Hobby Lobby. How cute is that? That's upside down, I don't know. But it is so cute. They're little mugs of coffee. And I think I have enough for next year as well. Okay, now let's get to the ornaments. So I'm just gonna kind of go through here and see. So this is the first year to do a book Christmas tree in the office. So I have everything that's on here is new. So next year I will just add to this. So we're just gonna start. So this is Emily Cromwell Designs. It's an acrylic ornament. This is Hallmark. One of these is this year's, and then one of them is maybe last year's. I've got two of these, so I got this one, and then I, this one is this year's. Both of these are Hallmark. I got one of them from Hallmark, and the other one came from Amazon. Um, let's see, any others? I guess I didn't put as many on that side. This is Hallmark. So this ornament, this was this year's ornament, um, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So I did not realize I have two of these. They had one that they came out with last year. So this one says, every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, and it's got Cindy Lou Who. And then I found this one in the attic. This was last year's ornament. I got this one for the kids as well. So the outside looks the same. It's the book. And on the inside, it's got the Grinch, and it says, The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. So, I'm interested to see if they're going to come out with another one next year. If they do, I will get it. Okay, Merry Bookmas. This came from Pippi Post. Love that ornament. This came in the Emily Cromwell Designs Advent Calendar, and I just stuck it on there. It's a bookmark. Um, any others? I think that's it for the front. Okay, this was Emily Cromwell Designs Acrylic Bookshop. Okay, then her advent calendar. <laughs> she had a scrunchie in the advent calendar. If you can, let me see if it'll focus. There we go. She had a scrunchie in the advent calendar. So, I just stuck it on the tree too. I thought it was cute. And then, I'll get to this one last. Um, this one is from Pippi Post, Book for the Holidays. And this came from the Emily Cromwell Designs Advent Calendar. Love that, too. Love her Advent Calendar. I will definitely be getting it next year. And then this I got from Etsy. I love this idea. There we go. Love in other words. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to read this ornament. It's hard. It says, love in other words, heart bones, it ends with us, maybe someday, November 9th, angel falls, and ugly love. So those were all of my favorite books from 2023. I will talk about those again in a minute. So that is my bookish themed Christmas tree for 2023. I cannot wait to add to it. Now, there's one ornament that is not on here, and that's what I'm going to talk about next before we get to all of my books that I've read in 2023 and want to read in 2024. Okay, you guys, this ornament is not completely finished, but I wanted to talk about it. I need to get some ribbon for the top, and I'm going to explain how I've created this. I got this idea online. Okay, this is going to be my 2023 book ornament. So it's got little cards, like little books on the inside. Let me put this camera down and I'll open it and share it with you. Okay, so all I need to get some cute ribbon. So I have this ribbon here. I wanted a really cute ribbon for the top and I need something to put inside that says 2023. So I have not done that yet. And it's not wanting to focus on it. So I have not done that yet. So these are the same ornaments that I shared for the teacher's gifts. So this was the main reason I got this was for this. Okay, so here's the Verity one. So this is what it looks like. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so it looks like a little book. Front and back looks like the book. 
So what I did was, and I've got a whole, there's 36 in here. All the books that I read in 2023 are in here. And then it snaps closed. If I can get it close. Is it closed? I think it's, it's Okay, there we go. There's the snap. So I just want to put a little 2023 sign in here. But let me tell you how I did this. I got this idea online. If I can figure out where I got the idea, I will link that person's Instagram. But let me share with you what I printed. So I got this foam from Amazon. Fun foam sheets. And there's how many sheets in here? four so i've only used like almost one sheet so i'll have these for next year then i used my sticker paper and you don't have to use sticker paper but i did two there is a template for this person that came up with this ornament idea so i used the template and then i just inserted the picture so i saved the pictures and then cut each one of them out and then since they are a sticker, I was able to, I took, like I printed off one of these that looked just like the template and I cut these. I'm trying to see if I have it in here. So I cut like a section of these off and then laid it on top of the foam and then made the little backer. And then I just took each one of these and I stuck it on the front and the back to make it look like a book. Okay. That's literally all I did. And it turned out so adorable. Like I cannot wait to get that finished and put that up for next year. But I wanted to talk about that because I have been working on that for quite some time. It's just not all the way finished. But love the idea. I can't wait to get this done. And y'all, I just pulled the pictures off of Amazon and saved all of them and then just had to resize them. So that was the second thing I wanted to talk about was this ornament that I'm almost finished with. I just have to get the ribbon. I want some cute ribbon and I haven't been, been able to find any that wasn't $6. Okay, so now let's get to the books. Okay, I have, I have my camera setting up on my advent calendar, so I hope it's gonna work. So I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory before we get to all of the books for 2023. So I've read 36 books for 2023, which is amazing considering I've not read any books since about 2017, 16, 17, 18. I'm really not even sure. And what started this whole thing was I was walking through Target. I think it was the beginning of January. Don't know why I was even, I think I may have been in the book section at Target because Kate was looking for a book. I just so happened to pick up a book and read the back and something about it was like, I think I need to read that. I don't know why, but I just felt like I needed to read it. And that book was Angel Falls by Kristen Hanna. So this was the book that started it all. Now this is not the book that I saw on Target. I saw it in Target. I wanted it in hardcover, so I went on, I think it was Amazon, and I bought it secondhand. You can do that through Amazon. And you guys, this was the book that started it all for 2023, Angel Falls. So after this, it was like a downhill swing. I have read 36 books. I had a problem with purchasing a book and then trying to start it and not liking it and having to put it on the shelf. Once I realized it was okay to not like a book and to start another one, I realized, okay, maybe I will like this reading thing. You just have to figure out the books that you like. This is like a romance type of book. And I really never thought that I was the romance reader. I thought I was more of like a, a thriller. I want to murder and I want to figure out how to solve it or see if I can solve it. I thought that was the type of book reader I was. That is until... I read this and then I discovered Colleen Hoover. Now, I'm not going in the order that I read all of these books. I just, I have to talk about this next. And I think I started out with the wrong book by her. It was the one that was making all of the rounds at the time. And that is Verity. So, Verity was my first dip into the Colleen Hoover book addiction, obsession. And I will tell you now, 
I still don't know my thoughts on this book. It is very in your face, very um, graphic, sexually graphic. So I told Kate, I don't want her reading this. Like she's read some of the Colleen Hoover books, but I'm like, I don't want you to read this because it's like, I would have to like peek up, like I hope nobody's seeing me read this book because it's really graphic. But once you get into the book, it makes complete sense. So Verity was my first book by her. Then, I don't even know the order. I'm just going to read all the books that I read. Verity is definitely, I've recommended. I like the book. I just don't know how I felt about it towards the end. Okay, these were towards the end of 2023, you guys. I did not plan on liking these books as much as I did. And you have to read them all together. Okay? So this is kind of like when I put on the ornament, maybe someday, I was talking about the entire series. And here's the awesome thing. There is a, um, there is a playlist that goes along with this series. So as you're reading this books, you can go to YouTube and this would, this is what I would do. They would talk about a song in the book and then you could go and play the song and kind of get a feel of that while you were reading it. I did not plan. I read this all in one month. I want to say it was like October and I did not think at this stage, I'd read a lot of Colleen Hoover books. I did not think I was going to like this as much as I did, but I liked this so, so much. It is such a sweet story. So highly recommend these by her. Um, Never Never was good. Like this one. Too Late was good. This one was the one that was graphic as well. But if you read Verity, then this one is not going to be bad. Now, a lot of people did not... Before I read this, I was like, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this because there's a lot of people that did not like this book, but I actually liked it. So, like that. Confess was really good. Was not one of my favorites, but it's really good. Was not in my top for Colleen Hoover, but I did like it. Great story. This is the only book so far that I have not liked by Colleen Hoover without merit. After you've read all of these and then you come to this one, I just, it just, I did not feel a connection with this book. November 9th will forever be my number one book by Colleen Hoover. I just, I wanted to cry during this book. It was so good. Please read this book. Next. It ends with us. It starts with us. Second favorite Colleen Hoover book. These, these books right here are like some of my all-time favorites. These you have to read together. You read it ends with us first. And then you read it starts with us. If you don't read this and you just read this one here, it starts with us, you're not going to like it. They go together. Such good books as well. This really lives up to the hype. I'm not kidding. And I'm really scared, to be honest, when they come out with this movie. I'm kind of scared. Sometimes I'm scared to watch the movie because they don't do the book justice, so fingers crossed for that. Heartbones does not get the credit it deserves. I even recommended this to a friend and she read it and loved it too. I can I want Colleen Hoover to come out with a second book to this to this book here. This does not get enough attention. Definitely read this one. Reminders of him. Oh, good. Be prepared to cry a little bit possibly in this book. This is a good one. This one's a good one. Regretting you. This is good as well. So the only book so far that I have not liked by Colleen Hoover was The Without Merit. So those are all, I think, yes, those are all of the Colleen Hoover books that I have read so far. And you're going to see one or two in my stack down here that I plan on reading for 2024. Okay, now let's just, I'm just going to dive in and share the books here. Let's go with this one next. Next up, I think, oh, I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus. I hope I'm in focus, you guys. I am trying to focus on talking instead of looking at the viewfinder. So if any point I'm not in focus, I apologize. And I'm kind of bending down too. So if you're thinking I'm slumped over, I kind of am. Okay, next we're going to talk about Frida McFadden. Okay, and you probably know her for this book right here, The Housemaid. I'm going to be honest, I did not like this book. Kate liked it, I did not. 
I, don't, I just felt like it was missing something. So this was the first book this year that I read of hers, Frida McFadden, but I love her as an author because I read The Inmate Next, loved this. Highly recommend this one. This one was, and they're fast reads too. Really fast reads. I love The Inmate. Um, the Locked Door was okay. Never Lie was pretty good, but my favorite by her was The Inmate. Now, I want to read for her. I don't have this book, but what I have on my want to read for 2024 for her right now is um, The Perfect Son. I have that in my Amazon cart. I just haven't purchased it yet because you're going to see I have like a stack of eight or nine books over here that I need to read first. Staying with that whole thriller, murder type of books, we're going to talk about the next set here. This was my first book to get from Book of the Month, and I did not like it at all. I just did not, and a lot of people like this. I did not like this book. The Stranger Upstairs, Lisa M. Matlin, I, I just didn't like it. The Push, this has gotten a lot of, um, I've heard a lot about this book. I didn't like this one either. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I just felt like it was building up and then I missed something. Girl Forgotten was really good. Highly recommend this one. And this was another one that I found while walking through the Target um, book section. So that was good. The Silent Patient. This is one I think I might need to read again because... I feel like when they it, the middle kind of drags a little bit, I get disconnected. And then when they end, even if it's a good ending, I'm like, I'm already disconnected. But so many people have loved this book for 2023. I wasn't a huge fan. Maybe I need to go back and read it again. Maybe I would change my mind. Because it was a good storyline. I think I just kind of got lost in the middle. I think those were all the thriller books that I read for 2023. So I'm just going to grab the rest of these and talk about them. Okay, Book Lover. Book Lover was good. I found it to be too long. Here's the thing. This is an Emily Henry book. And she's, well, I mean, it's 350, 372 pages. It was a good story. I just felt like it, that it was dragging out. It's like one of those Hallmark movies that just goes on and on and on and on. And you're like, it could have cut out a lot of details. Good book. I just felt like it was too long. My opinion. Or it just did not keep my interest. Another Emily Henry book that so many people love and so many people talk about. I just did not like it. Once again... I just felt like it was too long. And y'all, it's only 370 some, 80 something pages. And I just felt like it was too long. Like I couldn't even tell you what this book was about because I just got lost and it just could not keep my interest. Now, so I've read Book Lovers and Happy Place by Emily Henry. You guys recommend one to me that I'm gonna read and love by Emily Henry, please, because I want to love her as much as some readers do, but with these two books, I was just not a fan. One Day in December is the one I just finished, and it was cute. It was, once again, a book that just kind of felt like they could have left out a lot of stuff, because it just kind of did not keep my interest, but it was good. Love in Other Words. I don't really have any words to even say, but read it. This is another one of my all-time favorite books, and I want to read this again because I just... And I'm going to tell you, it was almost 400, 403 pages, but you guys, this book is so good. I, I cannot recommend this book enough. Read it. I'm telling you, read it. The Unhoneymooners by... Oh, this is by Christina Lauren. This one is by Christina Lauren. This is this is good. This is a um, romance and comedy type of book, and it's pretty funny. So you need to read it. So the best man, and I think it's the maid of honor. The bride and groom get sick and can't go on their honeymoon. So they send them on the honeymoon, and they're two people that cannot stand each other. So definitely read this. Loved it. Mad Honey. Here's the thing about 
I think they say Jody Pico. I think I've always said it wrong. I heard somebody in an Instagram or TikTok video say Pico. So I'm this is what I'm gonna say. Let me tell you. She has wrote Leaving Time, one of my all-time favorite books. And the way that this woman can research before she writes a book, just it's amazing. So you learn so much about bees woven into the story of this book. Such a good book. Highly recommend it. I learned so much. And that's just like with Leaving Time. I learned so much about elephants. And i that's where my love for elephants became, began. Was after reading Leaving Time by her. One of my all-time favorite books. Learned so much about bees in this book. So definitely read that one. That one's a good one. Um, Magic Hour by Kristen Hanna. This was a good one. But it wasn't as good as some of the other ones by her. To be honest. So, this story is a little girl is found in the woods and they have no idea how the girl got out there and the story is around that. Like, how did this girl get out there? Who is this girl? And all of that. So, it's a good story. It was just not one that was one of my top favorite from her. Next, One True Love's Good, good book. Highly recommend this one as well by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This was my first one to read by this author. Really liked this one. Why did I save the ones that I didn't like the most for last? Okay, this one was very sad. If you want to, this was a true story. And I think she was in iCarly. So I read this towards the beginning of 2023. If you've ever wondered how a parent can brainwash and what they call gaslight a child read this because the stuff that you learn that she went through mind-boggling so i'm not going to say this was one of my favorite books because it was so sad but it was such a good read very eye-opening now these last three were not some of my favorites and they are i've heard nothing but rave reviews about them every summer after I can't even, I would have to go back and read the back of this book to even tell you what this book was about because I just was not connected to it, did not like it. The last thing he told me, I was mad by the end of this book. I'm not even going to like, why did this person do this? Why, I, I don't get it. Why would you do this? So I left this book going, I am upset. I don't under, like, I'm not happy after I read this. I was not happy going out of this book. So, you guys let me know if you liked it or if you read it, if you liked it. Because I did not and I left angry. This is another one that I feel like I need to go back and reread. So, this one I feel like I need to reread. This one I need to reread. Because I felt like there was so much entangled in this book that I didn't appreciate all of the elements. So, coming right out of the gate, this was... This has been talked about for several years about how amazing it was and the movie is so good and it's five out of five stars out of thousands of reviews. So I think this is a book that I overhyped. So I was expecting like so much more than what I got from this book and I think that's why. I think it was hyped up so much that I had myself built up for this to be a book that was going to top every book that I'd ever read. So I left disappointed. So I feel like I need to read it again because of that. I felt like I wasn't getting out of the book what everybody else did. I think if I would have just read this book without hearing all of the reviews about it, I would have liked it more. So that's another one that I feel like I need to read. So those are my 2023 reads. I would love to hear all of the books that you have read in 2023. So now we're going to get to the books that I am going to read in 2024. Okay, so I have a stack of, so I don't need to buy any books. Let's just talk about how Kristen does not need to buy any books in 2024 until she reads all of these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight books here that I need to read. And I know I do the book of the month, which I'm really liking so far. And I need to read all of these before I get any more books. But I will be getting books like at least one a month from book of the month. And I like the service. I like that they're hardcover books as well. So, so far I'm really liking it. I've only been part of it for like three or four months, but I'm really liking it. So, let's start with that book. So, this was the December book of the month pick for me. I got this one in one day in December. So, you can get a, you have to, 
I think from the way I understand it is you can pick one of the books that they have selected for December or whatever month you're in and then you can do an add-on. So the one day in December was an add-on and this was my book for December. So this is A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. So I'm thinking this might be the first book I read in 2024. Okay, then this was another one that I chose when I read the when I got the Stranger Upstairs. I also got this one because I've heard nothing but rave reviews about this one. None of this is true, so I cannot wait to read this one in the beginning of 2024. And see, look how nice these books are. These are from Book of the Month, so I'm really liking that service so far. Okay, then all these other books are books that I purchased. Um, a lot of times what I like to do is I like to wait until a Target has a buy one get one free and or buy one get one half off not free buy one get one half off um, and I think that's where I got a majority of these so this one is um, is it Ellen Hildebrand the five star weekend heard a lot of great things about this one so I can't wait to read that one um, one of my friends sent me an Instagram reel of somebody that was talking so good about this book. So I watched the reel and she said this is like one of the best thriller books she's ever read. So I immediately added this to my cart. So I can't wait to read that one. This one was recommended for people that love The Silent Patient. So, and I've seen since, um... And I've watched a lot. I've watched a lot recently of TikToks of people recommending books and books they love for 2023. And this was one of those, The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose, I think is how her name is pronounced. So that is on my TBR for the beginning of 2024. This book here, I have had this book for several years and I got it from Goodwill. It's in perfect condition. Like, it's, it's not this. I got this from Goodwill for, like, probably $2. And I've seen people recommending it, talking about how fabulous it is. So, I pulled it off of my bookshelf. And I've got this for one of my books, All the Missing Girls. Um, Archer's Voice. I've seen nothing but great things so far about this one. I ordered this from Target, I want to say in the summer. And then I saw some reviews going. It wasn't that great of a book, so I kept kept it on the shelf and then recently I've seen nothing but like this making people's favorite books of 2023 so I'm gonna read that one and then last but not least is Layla by Colleen Hoover so I've almost read all the Colleen Hoover books I have asked my husband for Christmas the oh what is it all your perfects I think that whole series of books so I hope I get those for Christmas. And then Layla is one that I keep hearing mixed reviews about. Either people love it or hate it. So I have this on my TBR for the beginning, beginning of 2024. And that is my book video for Vlogmas 2023. I, you guys, have loved getting into reading in 2023. I have loved, like, exploring and finding book bookstagram and book TikTok videos. And it's just, it's become one of my favorite things to do when I'm not working on shop stuff is reading. Um, I don't watch TV or anything, so I really loved reading and cannot wait to get those books started in 2024. So, in the comments below, I would like you to share with me any questions that you have about books, anything I've talked about. Share some of your favorite books. I definitely want you to do that. Please share all of your favorites in the comments below so that I can add those to my Amazon or Target wish list because after I get through some of these, I will start buying other ones. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. Y'all have done such a great job at giving my videos a thumbs up. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing that. It is hopefully gonna help. So I hope you've enjoyed all the Vlogmas videos. I have one more Vlogmas video that I'll be sharing on Christmas Eve. And that is over my advent calendar for this year. I want to share all of the contents with you. So I hope you'll have a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holiday or Happy Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. And don't forget to come back on the 24th to watch the advent calendar unboxing. So until then, bye you guys.